China has initiated restrictive measures on the export of two crucial materials vital to the semiconductor industry, further escalating the chip war with the U.S. Export controls on gallium and germanium. Under the new regulations, exporters must obtain special licenses to ship gallium and germanium from the world's second largest economy. These materials play a significant role in chip production and also have military applications. Dominance in Global Supply Chain China enjoys a dominant position in the global supply chain of gallium and germanium, producing approximately 80% of the world's gallium and 60% of germanium, according to the Critical Raw Materials Alliance CRMA. Resource nationalism concerns The ongoing tit-for-tat between the U.S. and China has raised concerns over resource nationalism, where governments hoard critical materials to exert influence over other countries. Dr. Gavin Harper, a critical materials research fellow at the University of Birmingham, warns that the idea of international markets effortlessly delivering materials is diminishing, posing a potential existential threat to Western industry. Applications of Gallium and Germanium Gallium arsenide, a compound of gallium and arsenic, finds applications in high-frequency computer chips, LEDs, and solar panels. However, only a limited number of companies worldwide produce gallium arsenide at the required purity for electronics. Germanium, on the other hand, is used in the manufacturing of microprocessors, solar cells, and crucial military equipment such as vision goggles. Impact on the semiconductor industry While China's export restrictions could impact the semiconductor industry, there are potential alternatives available for some components. Countries outside China also have active mining and processing facilities for gallium and germanium. Past Examples of Export Restrictions Similar to past instances where China restricted the exports of rare earth minerals, these export controls may lead to the development and exploitation of alternative sources of gallium and germanium. The increased efforts to recycle these materials and identify readily available alternatives could be expected in response to growing demand and intensified competition. Long-term implications China's export restrictions on critical materials align with Western governments' efforts to de-risk from China by diversifying supply chains and becoming less reliant on the country for raw materials and finished products. However, building up the capability to mine and process materials like gallium and germanium will be a time-consuming process. Opportunity for mineral-rich countries Mineral-rich countries like Australia and Canada view the current materials crisis as an opportunity to play a more significant role in the global supply chain. Global Consequences on the Environment The weaponization of resources and technological capabilities by major economies, such as the U.S. and China, could have significant environmental consequences. As green technologies increasingly rely on critical materials like gallium and germanium, securing access to these resources becomes crucial for the global energy transition and decarbonization efforts. In conclusion, China's move to restrict the export of gallium and germanium has significant implications for the semiconductor industry and raises concerns over resource nationalism. While the impact may not be immediate, the long-term effects warrant attention from policymakers and industries worldwide as they strive to ensure sustainable access to critical materials for future technological advancements.